Hi, my name is Steve from the Stone Crafting Workshop. I've done a couple of videos about fitting Schottis blinds, which I'm quite keen on. I think they're great value for money, but there's a particular problem with them in that they are fitted using double-sided sticky tape. And for people who are worried about damaging the background of the, um, that they're being stuck to, that's a potential problem. If you're in rented accommodation, you'd be worried about losing your deposit. And if you're you know, a homeowner who's pretty house proud, you don't want to damage the paintwork or the, you know, the background you're sticking to, or perhaps it'll be wallpaper. So there is another way of fitting these blinds that I've come up with, which eliminates those problems. So bear with me now, and I'll show you how to do it. show you what we're going to do just so you understand what's going on. This is an offcut of a Vachottis blackout blind and I'll show you on this because this is the offcut I just happen to have. <laughs> what we're going to do we're going to fit the blind up using command hooks. These are command hooks and the ones we're going to use are the light clips. They're a clear plastic clip and they're very springy and very flexible I like them I use them a lot all over the place and what we're going to do we're going to when you get your shottest blinds from new they'll have the double side it'll have the double sided tape on it and on this particular one we're going to stick a strip of timber right the way down the length of the blind which is in this sort of profile it's got two bull noses on it and it's about five or six mil thick and this particular one is 25 mil wide. You can buy this sort of timber in most DIY shops. Uh, look, at, look for the racks they tend to have of beading and timber beading and plastic beading. I bought a 2.4 2 meter length of this, cost me £3.60 I think it was. So it's not going to cost you a fortune. And what, what basically happens is you stick the timber onto the blind, onto the sticky tape on the blind. And then this, this clip will be fixed to the window frame or window soffit, whatever. And then all that happens is that the blind, <laughs> it's actually much easier than this in real life, the blind simply clips into that clip and as you can see, it holds really firmly. And then the blind will be hanging from the clip like that. I know from experience that these command clips are brilliant. They're really powerful at holding. And they've got a clever little trick about them that you can remove them easily and cleanly. They're stuck on with double-sided sticky pads like this. And all you do is peel off one side and stick it to the plastic clip. Then you peel off the other side and stick that to the surface you're going to stick it to. And then when you come to remove it, you simply pull this tab and it comes away cleanly. I've made a video about that, about command clips. If you look at that, you'll see exactly how to do it and how to fix these properly. As I say, the key bit is this timber piece of beading which you can get I've seen them in places like B&Q and Home Base and I actually bought my timber from my local hardware shop. Now this is a very simple DIY job you don't need much you're obviously going to need your shottest blind and in my case I need a straight edge if you need to cut some of the uh, the length off of the shottest blind you need to cut some of the pleats off of it. You need your length of beading that you're going to glue onto the shottest blind. In most cases you're going to really want a piece of timber, just a piece of old timber that you can cut on and you're going to need a saw. I'm using a little Japanese saw uh, but you could use a hack saw or a little fine wood saw. You probably want to use a square and a pencil just for marking up. 
And in my case, I need some double-sided tape because I'm going to reuse the blind that I took off of my window. And you need a pack of command hooks. As I say, I've done a video about command hooks that tell you all about them, so go and have a look at that if you're, if you're not sure. So the first job, if you're using a brand new IKEA blind, a shot is blind from IKEA, it'll come with the double-sided tape already fitted and you would lay that face up on your bench. However, because I'm using reusing a blind, I'm going to have to apply the double-sided tape to this old blind. So this is what you'll be looking at if you're using a brand new shotis blind. The double sided tape that you would normally stick to the window frame, you put upwards. Now your next job would be to cut it to width. Now I've already done that with mine. And again, I've made a video showing you how to accurately, cleanly, easily and quickly cut these to length, to width, sorry, cut them to width. And that's, that, that was the first of the uh, shot is blind videos I made. So if you're not sure about that part of it, go back and check out that video. Sorry, but I just don't want to keep going through it. Now what we're going to do is, I'm just going to use this clip to keep it all together. Because the blind's been hanging, it wants to open out all the time. Now we're going to cut our timber beading to length. Simply measure the width of your blind. Measure that length on your beading. Mark it across. Now I don't think it matters if this the timber strip that you cut is a little bit too short. But I think it would matter if it was a little bit too long. So either make it exactly the right size or make it slightly shorter. And then you simply cut it to size. And there it is. Simply peel off the covering. And then carefully line up the timber with the double sided tape and put it into place. You now have a timber strip on top of your shotis blind. Timber strip is now mounted on the um, on the shotis blind and all we have to do now is locate two of the command hooks. One, two. And if you look at the hooks it says to wall on one side so you obviously peel the other side. Having prepared our two hooks, we're now going to mount the hooks up on the window frame. Now you simply have to fix the hooks into place. This blind fits this complete width here. I'm going to bring the hooks in sort of four inches either side. It's not critical. What is critical is that the surface that you're going to stick to is clean. I'm using mess. And that you're going to fix it as level as it's possible to be. Now I'm lucky, I'm lucky as you can see, I've got lines, horizontal lines running along the profile of the plastic. So I'm going to use those to position my hooks. A 
So I'm going to come in about four inches or so, and I'm going to put the blind right there, right on that top line there. That's one. And so I've done a video about putting these command hooks on and off, and you can see that I'll put that as a link down in the information box or on the end screen. So having done that, we put it so that the timber is covered by the first pleat. So the bare timber is facing in towards the hook. Drop the blind down. And they just clip in like that. And there we go. Gosh, how simple is that? Easily removable. You can also, as a matter of interest, lift these off and refit them pretty much at will. Then when you come to remove them, all you have to do is remove your two command hooks. As I say, all you do is get hold of the rubber backing, pull, and they come off cleanly off of every surface I've tested them on. Now, obviously, you know, I haven't tested them on every surface there is, so you're going to have to be a bit sensible, but there you go. It's a really simple way of fixing a shutter spline without using the double-sided tape to stick to the wall or to the frame. I think it's a really good, simple idea of how to fix shotty splines without damaging the background, and I really hope it's of some use to a lot of people. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more DIY hacks and videos about stone crafting and how to make things out of stone and what have you, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.